Hello, Shadowcat back with the Rim of Time. And we open on a new day. Not a great day, though. We're still in the middle of a drought. People are starving. Things aren't good. They're really, really not good. But we have to be positive. We have to look on the positive side of things. What do we have to be thankful for? What do we have to be positive about? Well, no one's dead yet. Now, how long can I keep that going? I don't know. We also do have some new people. So, from your comments, from the last video, we have Solarian. I can finally rename this Scoop, Scoop, Crit, Scoop, whatever. Your name is Solarian now. Congratulations. Thank you, Solarian. I needed that. And we also have Amora. So I decided to make my juvenile bookworm Amora. Especially since you said you had an interest in rereading the books, which I implore you to do. The books are good. Read the books. Also, you're out hunting. Let's hope you bring something home. Please bring something home. People are starving, including you. And it left the map before you could bring it down. That sucks. It got away. Yeah, it's not helping that I have people who are literally just not hunters. Now, you're the only person so far with hunting really high. Black is a hunter. Solarian is a hunter, but no one's actually doing any hunting. Uh, Weirin, you won't actually pick up a bow, so you won't hunt. And Black... I don't know why you're not hunting. Oh, wait. You're not currently using your bow. Well, get your bow out. Go help. Yeah, somebody brought home something. Okay. First things first. We need a faction and a settlement. So, um... I'm going to be really cheeky. And we're just going to call ourselves... Because we are... The I Sedai. Because, of course we will. And since we're going to be the I Sedai, I suppose that that should make this Tar Fallen. Did I spell that right? I don't remember if I spelled that right. Hold on, just a second. Yep, I spelled that right. So congratulations. This is now Tar Fallen, and we are the I Sedai of Tar Fallen. And now that Black has a bow out, Black is hunting. Good. So our low food is going to stay low for a while. The important thing is, though, we're getting food in. We'll have more food if this drought ever, uh, ever subsides. Interestingly enough, though, I sketched out an extension to our, our little farm here using the fertility so we can take it further advantage of that. I kind of screwed up building this, uh, th this house so close here. Because I could have extended further in this other direction. But, you know, oh well. You live, you learn. Perhaps we can tear this down at some point. We will move beyond this into a much better home. And at that time, we can just go ahead and, and take this apart and it'll be fine. However, when I went to actually extend all of our farms, I came across a startling realization. I can't. The drought has actually reduced the fertility of the soil so much, it's now considered unplantable. That sucks, and it's lasted for almost three days now. Fortunately, there's still plenty of animal life around that we can take advantage of. If the animals leave, though, well, then we have a problem. And we're in has gained a deeper understanding of magic. So what can the One Power do for us today? Uh, we already have Bestow Might, so let's make that better. There we go. Bestow Might is now completely upgraded. Eventually, we'll be able to get Practice Blessing, which will lower the cost of it. So what should we be doing in the meantime, then? Well, since we had people kind of standing around and people are cleaning, I think that maybe we should work on getting... I don't know. Let's work on research. I'd like to get an early start on that because we don't have a whole lot going for us right now. Oh, wrong button. This button. 
We have a few things going for us. And as you can see, we have a lot to get through all the way up to Ultra Tech. I have never even used this mod before. I'm not even sure what it does. Organ growing? Human sleeves. Grow perfect human bodies in sleeve incubators. I, I just, I don't even know. I have no idea what this does. But I'm interested in finding out. Ooh. That's all on fire. That's probably bad. Anyway, let's work on getting something done research-wise. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plan this out. Let's make something up over here. So one, two, three, four. That gives us our walkway. And we'll just build a big old building right here. We'll clear this out. We'll hollow this out. And there's where we'll build our structure. Since we have wood, that's what we're going to use. And it's just a matter of now determining what kind of wood are we going to use. Okay, so when it comes to building, we actually have some options here. So if I come to structures and I look at walls, we have the option of four different kinds of wood, thanks to Vanilla Expanded. And I think we're going to have to do this just to kind of keep things not looking all the same. So we'll, I'll use dice rolls to get what we need out of here. So the walls, the walls will be made out of birch. Well, the doors will be made out of walnut. And there we go. So we'll give them a chance to build that. We have cargo pods with apparel. Some wool pants and a t-shirt. None of which we can use because we don't have the technology yet. We'll get there though. This is step one. We need to build ourselves a place to do research. And Camlin is working hard on getting meals made so that everyone has something to eat. I can't do anything about the low food. Not much. But at least we won't be eating raw food. That'll be important. And don't walk into the fire. What are you doing? Oh, you're butchering an alpaca. Okay, that's fine. Okay, new day. Everyone is up and working. Um, one of the things that I don't like in here is the fact that there's... Yeah. We don't want that in here. Uh, as a matter of fact, we want corpses in here, but we only want animal corpses. We'll go ahead and store waste in there as well for now, until we have a better place for it. This rock is holding this door open. Let's get rid of that. Oh, so is this one. Okay. That's done. And already, we've got some of the walls done. Let's go ahead and make sure that a roof goes over this. As they're building the roof, they'll get more wood to work with. And that fire's going to become a problem real soon. The drought conditions have turned everything into a tinderbox. We're going to be beset by fire if it doesn't rain. And it's not going to rain. We'll just have to hold it off until hopefully the fires burn themselves out. And just hope for the best. Yes, I know. Fire. Lots of fire. Fire's bad. Black, why are you hurt? Oh, you caught on fire. Huh. And it's interesting that you're out there working when you should be getting some bed rest. That's, that's okay, though. I'm going to put the rest of these people on medical as well. They can take care of simple burns. They'll, they'll manage that much okay. I just really hope that the drought ends sometime soon. We really need the drought to end. Never mind, though. The drought is not going to end. A pack of manhunting sphinx cats. Where are they? How many are there? There's two of them. 
Are these actually Manhunters this time? Yeah, they are. Okay. Um. Everyone draft up. Everyone get over here. We're gonna have to... We're gonna have to defend ourselves. And we're gonna have to fight at night, unfortunately. Where in? Where are you? Okay, you're right there. I need you to bestow will on... Wait. Camlin? What are you doing? Oh, that's right. You won't fight back. Okay. I want you to bestow might on Solarian. Solarian, you're about to be in trouble. Deal with that cat. Alright, that's one of them. Where's the other one? Solarian, get it. You've been empowered. Take care of that cat. Amara, where are you? Okay, well, that's that's everything, I guess. Now they have to go take care of the uh, the fires that are continuing to rage on all sides. And there's a transport pod. A bully named Waz is crashing in a transport pod nearby. Waz is suffering from paralytic abasia and will be unable to walk. He will recover naturally after many days. There's also a chance of a lucky quick recovery. Paralytic abasia can also be cured by special operation which requires a large amount of glitter world medicine. He's willing to contribute once he's recovered, but he will not leave voluntarily. If you don't want him, you can banish him, sell him into slavery, or leave him to die. Um, well, I'm definitely not going to do any of those things. And Salarian, are you still hurt? Yeah. Weirin. Okay, you're tending. That's good. All right. Yes, we're going to accept Waz into the colony. Question is, is anyone going to get to him in time? Oh, you landed right inside the fires. Um, who's my fastest person? All right, let's clean this up a little bit. So clear, 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 clear stats. I need movement speed. Who's my fastest mover? Solarian. Really? You're my fastest moving person, even now. Because of the bestow might. I wonder when that li when that um, wears off. Um, but you're still injured, and Weirin is still tending to you. No, I can't do it. Who's my next? It's Weirin. <laughs> Come on. Uh, Kamian, you can do it. Come up here and rescue Waz. And hurry. And also, don't catch on fire. Don't walk through the fire. Don't walk through the fire! <laughs> you people are already making me crazy. Yes, 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 I know. Fire. Everything's on fire. The fire is not going to stop until the drought goes away. Which, now we're on the fourth day. And you got to keep in mind... Um, a year in RimWorld is only 60 days, okay? It's in four quarters. Each quarter is 15 days. So a year in RimWorld is 60 days. Now, for us on Earth, a year is 365 days. So let's just call it 360 to make it easy. Now, since the Wheel of Time is set in Earth, it's a different turning of the wheel, but it's still set in Earth. That means that every day in RimWorld is equal to six days real-world time. You know, 60 days to 360 days. So that means that if the drought has been going on for four days now, that is the equivalent to 24 days with absolutely no rain. Which, honestly, isn't that bad yet. I mean, I've been in places where it has gone longer without rain. 
but that's still significant. Especially since we've only been here for how long? Yeah, we've only been here for six days. We have spent more days in a drought than, than you know, we had time to plant and do anything. It's not good. I mean, we're, we're going to be struggling really hard here. We can only hope that our struggles, though, make us stronger. And for what it's worth, um, I'm going to be honest with everyone. This colony may die. I have extensively playtested this mod pack. And this mod pack is unforgiving, to say the least. Which should be apparent right now. I mean, right out the bat, we, we can't even farm. Farming is not even an option at this point. So we are relying on hunting. I suppose I could set people up to fish. But fishing takes a lot of time from people that they could be using to do other things. And, and I really, really hate to do that. If the animals walk off the map, though, we will do it. And speaking of animals, I think I'm going to go ahead and redo this because some animals have walked back on the map. So, nothing that fights back. There we go. That'll give us a lot more options when people go out to hunt. Right now, I just want that drought to end, though. I mean, seriously, whatever it takes. Prayers and sacrifices to the creator. Please just make the drought end. Alright, well, this is quickly becoming a problem. So, the building over here is still not done. And the drought still rages on for our seventh day. And now, on top of everything else, there's a heat wave. I'm quickly learning that unless something gives, we're done. Amara has broken and has been wandering for days now, so Amara is no longer contributing to the colony. And with a heat wave coming in, in the middle of a drought, we're about to die. Who's my, who's, who's my, my builder? Solarian, I need you to get up. I know, you're sleeping, you want to sleep. But we have a problem here. We have a big problem here because the farm is on fire. You're all sleeping through the fire. And Amara, you're still not helping out. And our food is rotting away. Yeah, if, if something here doesn't change very soon, we're done. And the heat wave is going to drive off most of the animals. Unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I mean, something needs to give here. This is entirely out of my hands now. I, I don't know what else to do. Something's got to give. So the drought going on for 7.2 days... That basically means 7 times 6 would be 42 days. That's a month and a half or so, give or take, without water. I'll be honest with you, I have never come across that in my lifetime. And this colony is not going to survive it either. Also, the entire map now has been completely burned out. Everything is gone. The only remaining structures on this map are those that were either unburnable. So, for example, I mean, all the stone walls, all, most of the steel walls, except steel walls apparently burn. Don't ask me how or why. Everything that was made of st or steel, everything that was made of iron, anything that was made out of wood, all trees, all plants, 
all medicine, all berries, everything on the map is now gone. It is all gone. What you see here is all that's left. This is the last of it. This is all that is left on the entire map. The few plants that we have here that are honestly not really growing. And the few bushes that we haven't cut down yet because we didn't need to. On the upside, though, we are finally getting some bedrolls. And, yeah, the animals are all leaving because of the heat wave. It's 123 degrees outside. It's 110 inside, even with some coolers. Let's add more coolers and maybe we can make this work. If not, then everyone will die from heat stroke. You are not feeding people corpses, are you? You are. Don't eat corpses. Don't eat corpses and don't eat rotten things. Go butcher it. You're a cook. Solarian, I really need you to build this cooler. And fill it. I, I cannot stress how much I need everyone to come together right now to do this. People are starving. And, I mean, the animals we have is all we have. We're, we're in a lot of trouble here. We are in so much trouble. I am going to have to put down some fishing spots. So, it's dark. Let me look at it like this. I can put down a fishing spot here? The drought is finally ending. Okay, that's a good enough size fishing spot. The drought is ending, but it's already too late. I mean, everything is gone. It's all gone. It's all gone, and there's nothing we can do about it. But at least now um, that the drought is, is ending, we can get back to planting. And we can expand this farm a little bit. I hope. So if we were to expand it, yes, everything has returned to normal. And then this one will extend this way and we'll simply do the same for the rest. All right, that's done. We're going to grow a lot of potatoes because it's vi it, it's the middle of the year and I don't know if I can get away with corn. Especially the way everything else is gone. Black is having a tantrum. What are you doing? Stop that. No, I'm sorry. This is going to hurt. Never mind. You destroyed an entire corpse. You destroyed the corpse because you're malnourished. Well, now we have even less food. Look what you have done. Who is my cook? All right, here's a problem. Everyone's on bed rest. Well, I can't have anyone on bed rest anymore. You people are going to have to work through it. I'm sorry, but... We have passed the point where we can be gentle about this anymore. We have passed the point where we can be kind and considerate. There is work that needs to be done, and you need to get it done. That is all there is to it. But we're not dead yet, so we will work through it. And people are still starving. Did we not just butcher an alpaca? I guess we did. Is there anything left in here that we can... Yeah, there's animals out there. I just need someone to bring them in. Amara, are you out hunting? No, you're playing stones. Now you're out hunting. Okay, well... Bring in some food. And Black now has an infection. 
Okay, well, Black, now there's nothing else I can do for you. Come back. As a matter of fact, I'm restricting you to the home area. I cannot promise that you will survive this. I don't know how much medicine we have left. We have 13 herbal medicine left. And because of the drought, because of the fires, we cannot get any more medicine. We have medicine planted, I think. Yes, we do have some heal root, but that heal root will never be done in time. I'm sorry to say it, but you may be on your own. The only thing that I can do is we do have bedrolls now. So perhaps if I put you into bedroll, you might heal a little bit faster. But I mean, whether or not you succeed or you succeed, it's kind of out of my hands at this point. Put your trust in the creator. He's the only one left that can save you. Okay, so I only just noticed this, but apparently we got this uh, this room done. So that's nice. And we did make a rice harvest. So we will have a little bit of food that we can we can use. Did I set up pemmican? I did. We can start making a little bit of pemmican now. However, they're throwing all the pemmican in here. And that's not right. As soon as you're done making pemmican, just drop it on the floor. Oh, and this one's not even set up. We're going to copy this and we're going to paste it over here. All right. Weirin, you have grown in your magical abilities. You are going to be better at bestowing might now. And in one more point, you will have bestow might completely done. So good. I look forward to that. Now, in the meantime, what can we do with this room? Well, this is going to be our laboratory. Someday. For the time being, though, we're going to simply throw some research benches in here. And we will let people do research when they can. And yes, it does say it's a bad temperature. The heat wave is still on, and it's 100 degrees in here. Could be worse, though. This room is 133. Yeah, nobody wants to go in there. Thankfully, with four passive water coolers in here, it's still a, uh, a toasty 82 degrees. Yeah, it's not great. And Amara, you're actually getting some research done. Now, because of random research, I can't see what she's doing. Hopefully, she's doing something useful. But she is our bookworm, and I do trust her to get the job done. Is there anything else that we can check off over here? Low water, low food. I really can't do anything about those. I mean, we could be hunting. But Amara is doing research because Amara likes doing research more than hunting. Which isn't great. It's not great. Um, I also want to build a couple more food baskets. If we can. We don't have a whole lot of wood left, and there's not a whole lot left on the map for us to get. Uh, need warm clothes. We will get to that in a moment. It is still Jugist, which is the middle of the summer. So I'm not too worried about warm clothes yet. Tattered apparel, though. Waz has tattered apparel. I can't do anything about that. Low medicine? Same thing. All the medicine burned down during the drought. So, it's, it's just gone. However, the Ashaman Sedai roll. That, we may be able to do. But I'm not sure if I want to yet. Well, actually, no. I do want to. So, we do have these three roles over here. We have the leader, the Mahail. We have our moral guide, the Ashaman Sedai. And then we have the Void Seeker, whatever that is. But he's our evaluator of novices. 
which is something that I would really like, but we're not ready for it yet. What we do need, though, is the Moral Guide. And so I think we're going to go ahead and do that. Black, you have an infection still, so I need you to stay in bed. So let's see what happens here. At least as soon as Weirin is done putting rice away. Weirin? I am a healer, and as such I am the bandage that holds us together. I know I am strong, but together with you I want to build something stronger. I believe we all have a great deal to be thankful for. I believe I present the appearance we should all strive for. I hope that I can be a role model that brings us closer to the Creator. Just as the Creator gave us all we needed I want to provide for all of you. I am but a man though, and I am limited in my power. As a man though, I embody what we should strive to be. I am clean and pure, and purity is what we need to guide us. I and all of us should be gracious. Okay, we now have our moral guide. Weirin will now lead us into a new era. And one of the things that Weirin can do now is preach. So Weirin can help convert people to our, our side. Oh, can't preach to Black because Black is asleep. So Weirin can convert people to our side. Which may be helpful with Waz, because I haven't even really looked at Waz yet. Anyone who is failing in their beliefs, Weirin can reassure them. Anyone who is having a hard time can be counseled, and anyone who is sick, well, Weirin can preach health to them, usually. However, um... Well, I was going to say that Black might be too far gone, but Black is actually in good shape. And now that Black is up, Weirin, come preach health. This should be easy. There we go. You have preached health. So that gives a 25% boost to immunity gain and a 25% boost to injury healing. That should help. I hope it does at least. And then we aren't got food poisoning. Well, I mean, it was nice while it lasted. I guess. Uh, I'm going to cancel these because I don't want any more wood going to them. We need to have a food basket in here. At least one. And everyone has food poisoning. I just... Mm. Alright, so I want this basket to hold pemmican. That way, people don't have to run all the way into the other room to get it. Oh, and we got the other one too. So we'll copy settings over here. So throw pemmican into any one of these four barrels. They're getting all this planted, but I don't know if there's going to be time for any of it to grow. Uh, we could try tilling the land. So part of Vanilla Expanded gives us the ability to till soil. We can't till soil that's already rich. And we can't till Sony sto stony soil. Yeah, we can't till Sony soil. Don't even know what Sony soil is, but if you know, let me know. Anyway, this will help us a little bit. Now, are there any trees around us that we can chop down for a little bit of wood? 29 of them. That's, that's not bad. We'll see how much wood that gives us. 
The rest of the land is going to take time to recover. There's a few trees that have popped up now, but... They're... Okay, well, I guess some of them are more developed than I thought they were. We'll do what we have to. As it stands now, though, we need more food. And we need people to stop vomiting all over the place. Black, are you immune yet? You are. Okay, I'm sorry to do this, but I need you out of bed. I need you to help out around here. Like cleaning. And is there anything left that we can hunt? Yeah, there's some things we can hunt. I just need people to go and do it. I have people that are farming, which is not bad. And Amara is going back to do research. Which is not putting food on the table. Yeah, we have people that are now starving. Amara, I'm sorry, but I cannot have you doing research right now. And, I mean, you already have food poisoning. Yeah, you have major food poisoning right now. I'm going to have to turn bed rest back on. I can't have people with food poisoning wandering around trying to hunt. I, I just can't do it. I need people to be healthy. But I also need them to be alive. And the number of starving people is just going up. I mean, the drought and the heat wave together have kind of screwed this. And I don't know if we can recover. We do have some crops that are about ready to come in. That's going to be helpful. It'll give us a little bit of food at least. And unfortunately, due to the rain, bows are going to be kind of hard to use. Because the rain, it just says that it reduces the accuracy of ranged weapons. It doesn't say how much. I find, however, that when the rain is heavy like this, anything ranged is just kind of, it, it's beyond useless. I mean, look at this. All we need to do is hit the squirrel once. Or fox. Well, no, we need, might need a couple of times to hit the fox. Oh, hey, the rain stopped. Well, that's good. Now, Amara, can you hit the fox? Please? Please hit the fox? What are you doing? You're consuming a simple meal. Hunt the fox. I'm sorry, but I need you to do this. Do not come back without the fox. Thank you. That was all we needed. Oh, yeah, it's a test. It's a test. And somebody left their bow? Well, hopefully they come and pick up the bow. Kamian, clean this place up. A dirty cooking environment it is what is giving us food poisoning, and Amara is now wandering in sadness because of an unsightly environment. Amara... I can't with you right now. I just can't. A wild man has wandered in. Well, let's look at him. Kosan. You're from the androgynous and anonymity? You have a chemical interest, you're nimble, and you're gay. You're a Mei Li specialist, and you are good with animals, which unfortunately... We need somebody good with animals to even tame you. Do we have somebody good with animals? Nope. Not good enough. So, alas, that's not happening. There's some deer down here. Deer are tasty. Amara has been successfully calmed down by Weirin. That'll bring Amara back to us. That's good. How much wood did we cut down? 587. You know what? I think that's enough for us to get a floor. If we wanted one. But I still think this building is going to be temporary. Because I want to take advantage of this fertile soil. Yeah. 
Yeah, so no, I'm not going to put a, uh, a floor in here yet. But we can plan some of this out, actually. So in order to take the best advantage of this, I would need a spot like this. That would do it. All right. So that means that when we build, we need to keep this in mind. We do not want to intrude anything on there. And then obviously we can't intrude anything on here. So if we were going to build a proper... Well, what do we need first? We need a, a barracks and we'll need a kitchen. The kitchen, however, is going to take a lot of space. So the kitchen may end up going over here. Yeah. I think the kitchen will go over in this area. We can put the barracks down here. So coming over like this. I can make a barracks room over here. Just like that. And over here, we follow this line down of four space to give us room for roads. And we can put in one room here for a kitchen. One room up here for food storage. And we can make a dining and rec room over here. This will be an interesting design. Kind of blocky, but it'll work. Right now, the blocks are serving us well, but we'll get more interesting buildings along the way later. For the time being, these are going to suit us. And black has damaged something. Well, black, stop breaking things. We can clear this. Um, minor break risk from black. Is it because you're in pain? because you're ravenously hungry. Well, we have food. I guess the problem is just that you had food poisoning and now you're having a hard time eating. Okay, well, we have something to start on now. But looking at my time, I'm getting a little long on time, so we're gonna have to go and take a break. I know, I'm sad to leave too. I wanna see what happens next. As if, you know, enough hasn't happened already. We survived the drought. We survived a heat wave and a drought at the same time. We survived the entire region burning down. Which was just awful. And, I mean, despite the fact that we're starving to death, we even got a little bit of research done. Thanks to Amara. Once we have a more stable food source and we have a little bit of a stockpile up, I'll be able to let Amara do research to her heart's content. I feel like Amara has it in her to be a world-class researcher. Given enough time. And now we have a mana drain. That's bad. Because that means that Wirin's connection to the One Power is going to be significantly reduced. However, worse things have happened. And the only thing that Wirin really has right now is Bestow Might, which is useless outside of combat. Once Weirin has gotten more points, we'll be able to get things like, you know, healing. Things that'll be really useful. I mean, right now, Weirin's looking kind of green, Aja E. We'll, we'll make sure that she's a, a, a solid yellow. That'll be for next time, though. So, if you want to see what happens then, and what tries to stop us when we attempt to do it, make sure you're subscribed and make sure you hit the bell icon so you're here for every video that comes out. If you know somebody else who likes the Wheel of Time, likes RimWorld, or just likes me, or you think they might like me, share this video with them. Tell them to give it a watch. And then, have them come back, leave a like, leave a comment, so you can see what happens next time when we get raided by Mad Donkeys. That's going to be a fun way to start the next episode. Alright. So, cross your fingers, wish us luck, and we will see you next time for more The Rim of Time. Till then, take care.